Well, hello there. It's me, Dash Retro. And today, it's time for a little bit more of the old Super Mario Bros. Let's just uh, get it. Yeah. Oh, just, yes. All right. Yeah. Um, that's it. That's the intro. Let's go. Let's pop right in. Uh, you know, there's Persona 5 to play. But I mean, come on. Hang on a second. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. I can't believe I made that jump without looking. Uh, alright, yeah, this looks fine. I'm gonna try not to hunch into the microphone as hard as I can. Just, just move it closer to me. Pop it right there. And boom. I'm not gonna worry about where the mic is sitting and where my mouth is. And because I'm making a special case not to worry about it, I am not allowed to use it as an excuse for poor play that I was worried about where the mic is. Alright, those are our ground rules. Oh, that's those stairs though. Uh, however, we might worry about cats being in here. That might turn into a problem. In fact, I've got shit all over the place because uh, Persona 5 came out. And I opened the box and, you know, kind of threw the p parts everywhere. Shit, I don't have the screen right. You guys have an extra black pixel. There. Now the uh, the artwork is gonna be slightly off though. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a shit show in a second. All right. Why am I going at this speed? I don't know. Oh, I tried to do the Darby and. That's fine. We got backup shroom. Oh, I'm not getting on that. At some point, it will be clear enough where I need to crop this thing. That cropping looked okay for a second there. I think we might be fine. Are you guys ready for the Mario Bros? All we gotta do is set that up. Okay, yep, you can see it. I think that's pretty perfect. Okay. Oh, I don't have firepower. I really thought I had it. Alright, we're getting some shitty shit on the screen. Some, like lines and things. I think this retro gaming cables cable might be going bad. I wonder if Voltar is selling his own cables yet. He said he was going to start doing that again. And he said it publicly. I was privy to that information before uh, it was official. But I was told to keep it on the DL. But then he said it on Twitter. That he's going to start making his own uh, cables again. And... Let me tell you, I can't wait. I can't wait to upgrade the Voltar quality. Yeah. Oh, jeez, I it was really hungry, and I opened the soil and. You know, to help with the hunger. And then I didn't actually drink it. I'm going to continue to always uh, grab that life in that manner to see if the life ever hops over the, the gap. 
Alright. Even when I have firepower, it's just fun to jump on shit, you know? Like, you, you can do that cool thing where you firepower guys like that at, like, the last second, you know? The last couple frames. But is it really as fun as jumping on a thing? I do want to do it to flying Koopas because it looks cool to firepower a flying Koopa. And a flying Koopa takes two jumps. Basically, there's just, there's shenanigans with flying Koopas that I don't want to have to deal with. So I will just firepower them. Even though, when you firepower them, there's a chance that, uh, you're gonna miss. And then you've used up all your available projectiles and you won't be able to fire at them again. You know, this is a possibility. Oh, jeez. I... My inputs were improper for a moment, and I... I didn't get one of the swims that I thought I was gonna get. Underwater levels seem like the hardest part of a speedrun, it seems, uh, if you ask me. Just looks like it. Beautiful. All right. Let's get these coins. Mm. Sick coinage, bro. Cut that a little bit close, but you know what? I enjoy it. All the killing. Woo! That was pretty much perfect. For a coin collector, it was pretty much perfect. Man, there are so many visual problems going on. What is happening here? I might just have... Maybe I'll just unplug my RPG... R RPG, my RGB cable and... Shit! Plug it back in. And remember when getting hit in a Mario game made you small, even if you had firepower? They don't really do that anymore. I forget which is the first game to stop doing that. This is my dinner, by the way. In case you don't know about that. Alright, we're gonna buffer a jump. Ready? Boom! Hang on. There's a there, there's a hidden life in this level that I that I got the prerequisite for. Beep, beep. Oh! There we go. That was pretty expertly handled, I gotta say. That that hammer, bro. Mm, buffer jump, except I didn't quite have enough to get all the way across. Oh. Remember, none of these mistakes are because I'm worried about the microphone. I actually completely forgot about it. Yeah, eight lives. I haven't died yet. Here we go. Is that a fire flower up there? No matter. Uh, 3-3. Three, three. What is this level? Ugh. 
I think this is a level with all the lever, the levies. Is that what you call these things, or they're pulleys? This is a level with all the pulleys. <laughs> that was a little less comfortable than I wanted. That was a weird grab. There they are. At some point, I will be able to describe to you every level. I mean, some levels are just kind of unremarkable, though. But, I mean, I guess that's what's remarkable about them. There aren't a lot of unremarkable levels, right? And so the ones that are, are remarkable in their unremarkability. Such as, level 1-1. One, one. Oh, shit, dude, it's 1-1. One, one. It's exactly what you want it to be. Oh, these potaboos are messing up my Mario flow. I, I knew just at that last moment that I was going to be able to get under it. And I had to go for it. Do my move! Yeah! So... People always tell me that it looks like I'm speedrunning this game when I play it. Just because I got Mario Flow, though? This game's all about the flow! What do you do, stop before every pit and slowly size it up? Aw, oh, man, get grooving, get going. And get flowing. Oh, yeah! Love it. Bip, bip, bip. I do like to stop at certain coin blocks like this one, though. I mean, it's just too much fun not to hit. Whoop. I know, I, I realized just after I said that last thing that now I'm playing super slowly. And look at that. I got hit by that Koopa because of my, my bad flow. the crown right so four three is the first mushroom level unless you count the hidden zone of four two waiting for that platform to go all the way up. Did I watch WrestleMania all day Sunday? No. Flex is the uh Flex is the is the wrestling guy. However, uh what did I hear about it? WrestleMania. I heard that uh was it Brock Lesnar and Goldberg? I heard Brock Lesnar beat Goldberg, which further seems to prove uh, Flex's theory that Goldberg cannot wrestle. And then, because what did Goldberg do? In, uh, in the Royal Rumble, he threw up Brock Lesnar immediately without wrestling him. And then he had, like, two matches with Brock Lesnar, or maybe with somebody else, where he did, like, two moves and then pinned them. 
So, okay, he can get in the ring and do two moves. And then Brock Lesnar beat him, so he can take hits. This is Flex's words, not mine. I mean, it's mostly. I'm... I'm extrapolating a little bit. It's my extrapolation of Flex's words. And then Undertaker boringly walked around the ring in circles like a boring old man who is too old to still be wrestling. Which, sure, he was great. At one point, The Undertaker was great. But now he's too old. This is a thing that happens to human beings. They get old and they stop being able to do things like wrestle. Did I start crying when The Undertaker was done? Okay, so, well, first of all, I just told you that I did not watch. Uh, but is that a thing? So Undertaker is officially not wrestling anymore? Because, no, I would not cry at that. I would say, fucking finally, that man needs to be done wrestling. He cannot do it anymore. You could probably do that a little bit more fancy. But it's good to see him. Yeah, Mix Clock, how are you? Did you watch WrestleMania? Did you start crying when Undertaker was done? Let me send these questions back your way. Oh, geez, Koopas. Oh, that was close. This, uh, I'm going kind of slow and steady here because I want to get all the coins. And, uh, you know, I'm small. I don't have big. Right, exactly. Undertaker, put a fork in him, man. He left his gloves, coat, and hat in the ring. That's... That's a nice little thing. That's kind of cool. Uh-oh. Well, we were gonna die if we if we tried to get that mushroom. Because I, uh... Kind of... Botched the, um... The approach. That's all right. We'll just beat Bowser small. Oh! <laughs> Think I'm getting a PS3 to try the original Neptune? Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's a... It's a trip. It's a weird game. It is not great, but it is great. All in the same. I always, what I've always said is it's the best game that I can't recommend. Because it's, ju it's just got so much weird shit. First death on 6-1. That's pretty good. Crown 2 lives might be a new record. Oh. Oh my. Alright, keep it flowing. Keep it flowing. I, uh, uh, what I should say is, um... I think that the... 
Neptune games after the original are all superior to it. All the changes, all the big changes that they've made to the game formula are positive ones. Uh, there are a couple mechan- there, there, there are- there were some things about the original mechanics, though, that were very clever and unique that I kind of miss, that's all. A three-pack for Fiddy? The original Mark II and V? Yeah, I mean, there were just- there, there were some mechanics I, that were really clever. Like, just the idea that, you know, computers are all, you know, uh, what are, what are the words I'm looking for? Not triggers, not, co or not cause and effect, but like triggers and actions. You know, one circuit fires and it goes through circuits that have it fire a different way out the other end. And that's like how computers work. And that's how the game stacked some uh, a lot of its abilities. There would be a lot of ab there were abilities in the game that were that would be triggered by certain uh, like when a certain event fires and other conditions are met, another thing would happen, and you set those up yourself. And it was really really cool. It was computery. It was one of those things where it was a very abstract way to represent how a computer works uh, that worked very well in, for a video game. And I, I thought that that was really really clever. But, oh boy, some of the things about that game. I don't even remember particularly bad things, just an overall numptiness. I got a cat climbing onto my lap right now, by the way. If you're wondering why I'm playing a little weirdly. Alright. Hey, cat. How are you? Yes, you may be in my lap. A new PS3 is still 200 bucks? I, I, you know, I don't know how much used systems are worth anymore. I play so many retro games that I look at the PS3 and how many of them there are out there. And I think, like, how can that be more than a hundred bucks? Oh my gosh. It's the fucking fire bars on 6-4. I will never... I will never get to firepower this fucking Bowser. Great. You know what? I slept well last night. I wonder if that's part of the reason that I, f I feel like I'm playing pretty well today. Ooh. I gotta remember things like there being no reason really to to bother in that area. Is this the level that has, like, no power-ups in it? Maybe I already ran past the power-ups. But, I don't know, man. I should probably just run past those hammer bros, too. Oh, I certainly already passed up the life. Shit. I missed the extra life, and I'm probably past it now. Like, I, I doubt it's right there. All right, well, here it is, folks. Oh, yeah, World 7 is always a big pain, isn't it? Or is it World 5? No, World 5 is usually the big pain. 7 is tough, though. These two Hammer Bros spawn in very shitty spots. And neither of these give you any power-ups, right? Yeah. So they're a bunch of dicks. Let's just... Let's just get rid of those. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, I just can't keep a power up. By the way, we are probably going to play some Persona 4, or Persona 5, in a little bit. 
I'm just warming up my hands with some Mario, you know. Ugh. Bloopers! Oh, God. Cat. Okay. Good job. I'll get the cat cam on him soon enough. Playing Persona 4 at the moment? Nice. It is so good. One of the best games ever. This is, like, the hardest thing in the entire game, I feel like. And by hardest, I mean you have to sit here and fucking wait for a really long time. And then deal with blooper AI. do in the end for the cats is I feel like I need to get myself a uh, lounge or I, I need a chair here are all my requirements ready it's 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 hefty it's gonna it's gonna be a while before I actually have the nerve to look for something that meets all these requirements I need a chair that is tall enough to where I'm right here which can be surprisingly difficult in something like a lounge chair. Um, but I need it to lift me up to at least this height. Uh, it needs to be wide enough for a cat to cuddle up next to me. And it needs to be small enough to stay in front of the green screen that I'm currently in front of. There's not very much room between my green screen and my coffee table. Also, that brings up concerns as to whether, um, whether I would still be able to, I just tried to pretty much tank that, whether I would even be able to, like, bring this desk up and use it as a desk while I'm sitting on something that's more of a lounge chair, would that even work? I don't know. Maybe I'll go out all out and get a green one so that it oh, that's where that oh wait, but I missed the life, right. Soon enough, I'm not even going to have to go for the lives anymore. Like getting all the coins on the Dash 3 stages and stopping for the hidden lives on the Dash 1 stages. At some point, I'm just not even going to have to do that. I mean, I'm beating the game with like... 7 extra lives, aren't I? Granted, like I said, it's a good day. Sometimes I beat the game with 3 extra lives. Sometimes I don't beat the game. Oh, yo. Yeah, he does cut up granite tables. Why? What do I need a granite table for? Oh! Alright, you've got chair stuff. That's the other solution, is to just get a cat tower behind me. That's actually what's going to happen. 
just love when the cats cuddle next to me, though. I don't think that they'll do... Well, maybe I just need to get a double wide. Oh, no, no, I don't need a higher desk. No, 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 I said, um... I'm not sh I need to make sure that the chair keeps me high enough to reach my desk. And my desk is a... Have you seen this thing? It's a coffee table, but the top raises up into a desk. It's great. All right, here we go, boys. Eight, eight, three. Let's just let this blow over. All right. No, oh, why did I do that? It's fine. It'll be fine. Yeah. It always looks cool in Mario when you jump backwards over something. And people are like, whoa, did you do that on purpose for some kind of cool reason? Yup. Nope. Yup. It's covered in game systems. Mine right now has a PlayStation 4 with a Nintendo Entertainment se uh, System on top of it. I just have an NES on top of a PS4. But yeah, it's a it's a little tough to raise when it has something like a PS3 or a PS4 on it that's just super fucking heavy. But for the most part it just has my computer speakers, my mouse and keyboard and like the frame meister on it cuz I don't move that thing. Oh, we got the firepower. Now we just gotta not fuck this up. Oh, jeez. Sometimes I just don't get the swims that I, I'm trying to get. There we go. Alright, we've done it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. I almost didn't do it. Boom! The princess looks so weird in this one. It's like, did they make her that short so that it wouldn't be weird if Mario was big or if he was small? Because, like, right now she just looks kind of small, and then when he's small, she just looks kind of big. But it's not like... It's not like a freak case either way. Uh, I don't know. Small Mario is pretty freaky. I am going to play again. But in one minute, I need to go let Nicole know that once I'm done with the second playthrough, I'm going to play Persona 5. So, real quick, I'm going to go let her know that. Alright, alright. Let's just hit that reset button, and let's play through the game again. I'm so glad, like, you know, uh, a few months ago, like, I've been playing this game all my life, but I've always warped. And I think I can finally say that when I sit down and decide to play through Super Mario Bros, it's warpless and I don't have a big problem with it. As in, like, 
when I played before, I warped. And, uh... And I was proud that I was able to beat Super Mario Bros. consistently, you know? I could generally just pop the game in and beat it. Except that it was warping. And now I'm glad that I can call my beating of this game consistent when it's warpless. And it only takes, you know, not, damn it, not super long. It doesn't take a long time to beat it warpless. And so now that's my default go-to. When I want to pop in Mario and just play through it real quick, I can just do it warpless now. I can just play the whole game. And it feels much better. At some point, I'll try to speed things up a little bit by not stopping for certain things that I just find fun. I'll probably always get this star. Whoop. But stuff like stopping to hit that Goomba, it's just fun to do that. Stopping for a life is, of course, going to be unnecessary at some point. So I've been streaming for 36 minutes, which means I beat the game in probably about 32 minutes. And like right here, I just kind of wait for these things. At some point, I won't do these things. Not necessarily going to be a speed runner, but, you know, I'm certainly interested in playing the game faster. So what are you guys playing today? Voogie, you said you're playing Persona 4. Are you playing it right now, or did you just bring it up because I brought up Persona 5? And Meow Mix, what are you up to, dude? Are you the one who plays World of Warcraft? <laughs> I'm always interested to know, uh, what people are doing, you know, because, I don't know, I, I'm never just, like, sitting watching a stream. I'm always, I, it, that's always my secondary, you know? I'm always, uh, playing something. Now, I do decide what I play a lot of the time based on whether I'm watching a stream. Like... Uh, something like Persona, um, well, because I've played through Persona 4 so many times, I would play it with the stream on now, but if it was my first playthrough of, like, a hardcore RPG like that, I wouldn't watch something while I played that. Unless it was a real grind sesh, you know? Gotta love a good grind session in Persona games. They make it fun. The battle system in Persona is just so, man, uh, so much fun. Uh-oh. Oh, right, and Voogie, you're playing the Golden, right? I think you're probably... I'm sure you've played that enough where... You know Shuffle Time? Tell me what... Tell me if you know what I mean if I talk about shuffle time. I don't know how far you are in the game. Or at what point they introduce that mechanic. Uh, because shuffle time went through some changes. Alright, so let me tell you something. I, this isn't a spoiler, it's just why I don't like the... It's part of the reason that I don't like Persona 4 The Golden as much as I like the PS2 version. Uh, so Persona 3 had a very cool shuffle time. Uh, the cards shuffled in weird ways, and but you understood them all, and you always knew what you were getting. Um, shit. You always knew what you were getting in, in Persona 3's shuffle time, if you could pay enough attention. Now, the things you could get out of shuffle time in Persona 3 were... Uh, you could get a new Persona... 
that was kind of the, the default thing, is that uh, there would be Personas on some of the cards, and that's how you got them in that game. It's not like Persona 5, where you negotiate, um, you just get your Personas from cards in Shuffle Time. Or, if you draw, like, the Cup, uh, you get some HP restored. If you draw the Wand, you get more experience. If you draw the Coin, you get more money. And one of them gave you an item, I think. Shit. And that was cool. I loved that. Persona 3, best shuffle time. Loved it. Uh, Persona 4 had a weird fucked up shuffle time where the only reward from it was Personas. You either got a Persona, or you got nothing, or you got all of your rewards for the battle taken away if you got a if you got a penalty card. And those were the only things. So since you're playing 4, this is what'll make the most sense to you. In the PS2 version of Persona 4, the only thing that you could get from Shuffle Time was a new Persona. Which was also the only way to get new Personas, besides Fusion. In the Golden, however, I'm sure you've noticed that you can get cards that just increase your stats permanently. You can just get a permanent strength increase. And you get enough of these, and you can just have a Persona with all 99s of stats pretty easily. And that was the part that I didn't like, was that it, I, I, they made it more interesting, but then they made it make the game easier because, uh, because you could break it. And that's all. That's the only real gameplay thing. I don't know, there's a couple other things, but whatever. I also have to ask, what do you think of Chie's voice? Because that's the main reason I don't like the Golden. The, the, the shuffle time changes I could get behind. Uh, but the actual reason that if I ever play Persona 4 again, it will for sure be the PS2 version, is Chie's fucking voice. It was so good in the PS2 version, but her voice actress uh, retired. And so when they made the Golden, they had to completely re-record all of her lines with Aaron Fitzgerald as the new voice actress. Because they added new stuff to the game, you know, so new voice lines needed to be recorded. And then for her, because it was a different voice, they had to go back and change all the previous ones. You may... I don't know, you said that you play Hyperdimension Neptunia in... In, uh... In English, so you probably recognize her as Noir's voice actor. Yeah. I, I cannot stand her voice. As that character specifically. I think she was fine as Noir. In fact, when Persona 4 The Golden came out, I defended, uh the uh, Chie's voice for a long time because I was like ah I know vo I know Aaron Fitzgerald she was noir in Hyperdimension Neptunia she was great in that role but I think that that's like her only role everything else that I've heard her in I just her voice is very grating to me and uh, she speaks with an intent like every like she's got the center of attention kind of uh, kind of inflection to everything that kind of like to me the the persona games have always been so um good about the conversations sounding relatively real and the characters always sounding relatively grounded you know it's not like everything is super intense and epic all the time it's it's like oh shit the characters the characters uh they speak calmly to each other you know and uh, sometimes you don't get that in animes and in video games. But then in the Golden, Aaron Fitzgerald is totally like that with Chie's voice, where everything is the most important thing ever said. And it stands out extra, because the other characters aren't doing it, you know? And so it just makes it, it I feel like it makes the cutscenes not flow. Again, though, I realize that I am particularly harsh and particularly sensitive because I've seen her voice different 
it's different, you know? The game wasn't always that way, and so I'm going to be extra annoyed because I don't like things that are different, you know? I get it. I could have made that. You guys ready for my move? Cause here it comes. Here it comes. Oh yeah. Mm. In the Neptunia anime, some of the characters have new voices. Okay. Oh, and all right. So you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, yeah, yep, the, and the thing is, too, like, it, it, it's a big deal because Chie was one of my favorite characters. Everyone fucking loves Chie, and her old voice, her new voice just makes her character different. Because of the way that, like I was saying, she inflects everything, she's so, like, loud and kind of obnoxious about everything, you know, that, that's, like, so not what her voice acting was like before, and it makes the character different, you know? So, of course, you just... You can just play it in Japanese, but I don't think you can with that game. I don't think they give you the option. Shit. Unless they do in the Golden. Maybe the Golden... The thing is, though, like, I am so... Every other voice is great. I don't want to play in Japanese just because of one character. Especially when Kanji is done by, uh, I believe he's done by Matthew Mercer in, in The Golden. I don't know if they re-recorded the Troy Baker lines, because those two sound so similar that I don't even think they would have to re-record the Troy Baker lines, and no one would notice that half the, half the voices are a different guy. Um... But then, like, Yuri Lowenthal is just excellent as Yosuke. I forgot who did the main character. Wait a minute. I know it was John Young Bosch in... In, like, the... Yeah, I think it's John Young, Young Bosch does Yu Nakamura. Or, sorry, Charlie Tunoku, or whatever you named your main character. Um, he is great, but he's already a dachi, and so it's really confusing. Like, okay, here's another weird thing that happened. You know the character a dachi? That's John Young Bosch. And then, at some point, they had to give the main character a voice because they were like making an first of all they were making an anime and then they made the fighting game uh you know they they did things where they had to give that character dialogue and a voice and they it's just a dachi's voice and then they like changed a dachi's voice a little bit but not very much so it's like super confusing the things that they uh, my point is that the things that they've done with persona 4 since that game came out are generally great, but there they've there have been some weird decisions. Let's have the main character sound just like this other character that is not exactly a minor character. you seen the anime as well? Oh! Have you seen the whole anime? Wait a minute. Do you know the whole story? Oh, I actually got all the coins? I didn't think I did this time. Oh! I thought I still had just a little bit of star left. Well. 
World 5, everybody. I can't do it. Oh my gosh, it doubled, gave me a double dose. Liam O'Brien. Oh, did you know also, have you noticed that uh, Neptune's voice actor is also in Persona 4? She is the drama girl whose name I cannot remember. But yeah, the, the drama club girl is totally Neptune. I'm sure you would have just noticed because it's like the same voice. I'm trying to remember if Liam O'Brien is in Persona 4 anywhere. He's gotta be. Oh shit, Meow Mix, I didn't even see your comment. You play Dead by Daylight on PC and Hearthstone to torture yourself with RNG. Funny. Oh, right, uh, you started Chrono Cross, okay. I, I still gotta play that game. I would very much like to. I have it. It's five feet away from me. I always say that as if it's like relevant to how likely I am to play it. But it's important, you know. I own it. And when I gaze over at my, you know, shelf of retro games every once in a while and decide what to play, it's on there. It's on the shelf. You saw the 13 episode Golden Series? Okay. I don't know how it worked. I only watched part of the anime. And I don't think it was the golden version. That's another just weird decision like I was talking about. Where like, they did an anime before they remade the game and added stuff to the plot. So, now they had to, then they had to make a second anime that's the same anime. Or, or was it like a sequel? I don't, I don't know man. Like I said, I, I haven't seen the anime, so I don't totally know uh, how exactly they did it. Whether whether they had to retrace. Oh shit, I just realized that my Legacy Agrolom deck doesn't play Raven's Crime. What the hell am I doing? I should totally have Raven's Crime in that in that deck. What would I cut though? I guess it would just give my opponent more reason to, um, play Graveyard Hate. They're go- like, what I mean is, Raven's Crime, or, or, the, the deck is already susceptible to Graveyard Hate, and that would just be adding another card to it that 
dies to graveyard, or that, that is bad against graveyard hate, but, eh, it's a good card. And as long as I can keep K gripping Leyline of the Void, you know, we'll be fine. But what would I cut? It would also call for more black mana. Also, the deck is not very black mana hungry. So I am not sure. Uh, that's for sure. Oh! I think I botched this. Yeah, botched it. Oh, it's a botched job. Whose favorite level is this again? 6-3. Somebody was just in here and they were saying that this is their favorite level. Arnie! Right, I haven't seen him since uh, that one day that he watched. I haven't seen Arnie since that one day. I didn't I didn't intend that to sound so uh, you know, fateful. Oh, every time. Every time. I've never maybe I have gotten to this Bowser with firepower before, but if I have it's only happened once. Swag stomp on that uh, bullet bill. Oh, jeez. Only six lives, because fucking World 5 was really giving it to me again. Oh! I should have just gone. I'm going. Whoop! Oh! Oh, come on! <laughs> that was not a favorable situation for Mario. I guess that's maybe why you stop for these ones. And be on their left side. Hey there, Jemima! I feel like it's been a while since I've seen you around. Alright, let's get that. No way, Jay, because I'm going. Mm, that buzzy beetle got me last time, too. Welcome to the event adventures of Dash Retro never learns from his mistakes. I haven't been on Twitch much lately. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, let me tell you, Flex. Now, every time I buffer a jump, it feels good to know that... feels good to know that someone notices. Because I always notice. When I watch someone playing, I look for those buffered jumps. Every time they collect a power-up now, I go, are they going to jump out of this power-up? I hope so, and I wait for it. Oh my gosh, I hate this part. I mean, I don't really hate it. It's still Mario, so it's, you know, it's fun. What I mean to say is... This part is difficult for me to become accustomed to. I have not yet developed a strategy that makes this part flow like the rest of the Mario flows. The rest of the Mario just flows, and then that part, man. 
Like, you wanna see some flow? Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Mmm. We are flowing. Uh oh. Whoa. Ah, I really thought I was going under that. Oh, yeah. Water levels. Nah, I mean, the water levels are fun in this game. There's just, there's this one specific part that I, I can't do quickly, you know? And it makes me feel bad at the game. Seven, four, complete. What just happened there is I was gonna say the name of the world that I was going into. I meant to go world eight, because we were about to do world eight. Well, I said seven. But I decided to just wing the rest of the sentence and instead point out that I just beat world seven. Well, I'm not sure if I got all the uh, coins on seven three. Oh no, I totally didn't. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, if, if I did get all the coins, then that was just a... It was a, a bad place to be right there. I hate that there's that buzzy beetle in there. That always keeps you from getting that extra life. Makes it a big... Big slowdown. been doing this part without slowing down at all. Feels pretty good. You know, the part where you gotta jump two coins, single spot, jump two coins. Can't think of a single game that you like water levels in. For me, it's Mario. I mean, come on, you don't like a water level in Mario 3? When you got a frog suit? Who doesn't want to play a water level with the frog suit in Mario 3? I, hang on, am I going crazy? Or is there a power up right here? I'm going crazy, okay. Okay, I didn't set that up quite right. You know, I didn't love the water levels in Donkey Kong. I felt that they were too confusing, and they too often... And they too often just did the trick of, this wall is fake. You can just go through this wall. I got a little bored of that trick. Of course, I, I don't know, I think for the most part those were just secrets. They had nice music though. Cuckoo is a coconut. Insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. I know. I know. You know. I know what you're going for. You're there. there. Oh. oh. Just because I wanted to go down a pipe. I failed to go down that pipe twice. I gotta check something here that I've never really checked before. That's what I'm saying, Ajax. Donkey Kong Country has those fake walls in the water levels, and that's what I didn't like. They pull that trick too many times, you know?
Oh, yeah, I, I guess that also kind of applies to other games, too, the music being good. Seems like all water levels in games have good music. When you tell a composer to compose a watery song, they keep, you know, coming up with sweet stuff. Oh, I could have gotten that other one too, probably. But oh well, I played it safe. And check this out. Damn it! Still no good at that. Oh, you son of a fucking bitch! Alright. We've all died like that before. It's okay, this time I'll get the buffer jump and it'll be way cooler. Whoop! Yeah! <laughs> oh, I didn't do my trick that time. Oh, but it caused me to be on a different frame rule. Interesting. Alright. You can bop them both, yeah. Yeah! Ooh! 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 God! God damn it! These fucking hammer bros, man! I can't kill Hammer Bros today. Alright, now I gotta do that sick buffer again. Oh! Shit, I looked at chat. Hi, Melon! I just... I just, uh... I've just died to these Hammer Bros like four times in a row, so, you know. Don't mind me freaking out. Mmm! There we go. Oh, the check this out is for this. Ugh. Buffer jump out of that. So that you don't have to slow down. Uh-oh. They're doing it again. Oh no, it's happening again. There we go. There's our there's our moment. Oh shit. Alright. Bopped him. Ugh. I'm like never gonna be able to bop him again because he's gonna keep doing that. Alright, I got this. Don't you worry. God damn it. Alright, this will be fine. We'll just jump that one, jump that one, jump over that, jump over that one. Alright, we're fine. I had to slow down there just to make sure that I didn't end that embarrassingly. What up, camel? Also, Melon, how are you today? Ah! Alright, so... Th this playthrough has been... Go for the wall jump? Uh, I'll go for it, but I don't know how to do it. But alright, I'll... I'll go for the wall jump. I don't know how to do it. And now I have to deal with these fucking flying Koopas. That's what that's why I didn't want to try. Cause now I have to I had to like sit and wait. That piranha plant stays there. Let me show you guys why. I didn't hesitate uh, on that piranha plant. Because you come over here, you go across the bridge, and this piranha plant, you just jump on, it disappears.
It always seems weird to me to go down a pipe after a piranha plant. Like, it's still in there, right? Alright, here we go. Oh. And there we have it. I'm so glad there's that trick for the hammer, bro. Oh yeah, Flex, he's got those sweet Darby emotes now. He hasn't he hasn't done the, the other one yet. Alright, well I told Nicole a half hour ago that I, I was I wanted to play some uh Persona 5, but I guess now we're just going to play Mario again, because I guess she's probably not done playing Persona 5 yet. Alright, alright, here we go. Should I not go for extra lives this time? What do you think? Well, I have two reasons to play Persona. One is that I want to play it. Because it's great. And, uh, you know, no matter what, I want to be... The thing is, I'm whether I stream it or not... I'm going to be playing Persona 5 very soon, because that's the video game that I want to be playing in my life right now. Uh, the other thing is that Nicole is also playing Persona 5, and I need to stay up to date. I need to stay caught up with her, you know? So that we can talk, ab so that we can discuss things. Who knows, maybe Flex wants to uh, play some Mario... Uh, from his crib. Oh, wait, I... Mm, I was gonna say that, and that, that I would play Persona 5 while I watched. However... I kind of want the stream to be a complete playthrough of the game, but I guess I'm not so attached to that idea. I don't care that much. Remember watching your mom and sister play this game all the time and The Legend of Zelda? Nice. Why do I have a giant pop filter covering my face? Because like, I'm using a big mic today. I felt like using this mic instead of my other one. This mic sounds a lot better. Uh, and yeah, today I wanted to use this one. This is the mic that I use when I'm not using a webcam normally. Does it pop when you say your peas? When I say my bees and peas? When I when I mind my bees and peas? No, dude. All right. I sp I suppose that's the real reason that Flex is on to. Why, do we, why is there a big pop filter cover in my face? To filter out the pops. What's a myth? The pops? Yo, I've done voice recordings. Those peas pop. You don't even have to do voice recordings. We've all heard, like, when you're at a fucking, um, watch something on court. Like, the Supreme Court. Oh, on mics that don't need a pop filter? How about this? Are my peas popping enough for you? How do you like how much my peas pop? Sounds terrible, dude. Sounds terrible. Now my peas aren't popping, and it sounds much better.
I've... Like, here's the thing. I didn't get this pop filter because everybody uses... Uh, I, I, I didn't get this pop filter because everybody uses a pop filter. God damn it now. I got it because my peas were popping. They were plosive. Hey there, Ghost Rider. I was doing sound recordings and my peas sucked. So you know what I had to do for a while? Is because I was just practicing on YouTube, or because I was just making voice recordings for YouTube, I had to have it without a pop filter, but I had to put my finger like this the whole time that I recorded so that any pops that would happen instead get blown out the sides. But you can't really play a video game like this. So that's what it's for. But it works. If you ever just need to do like a voice recording, you don't have a pop filter for some reason. Just, uh... Whoa! Just just be shushing your microphone the whole time, and, uh, and it works. A little bit. I learned that trick from Do John DiMaggio. I believe it was on that documentary, um... Now I gotta keep adjusting this thing. On that documentary, uh... What is it called? Uh, it's called I Know That Voice. Yeah. There's a there's a documentary called I Know That Voice, and John DiMaggio is in it, and he uh, he drops that sick tech. I watched that whole documentary. It was not quite as interesting as I expected it to be, but uh, I, I liked it. I watched the whole thing. Uh, shit started to go down in Persona 5. I'm looking forward to the first time that we actually... Because the thing... I'm looking forward to the first time that we actually finish a palace and take this guy's desires away and see what the fuck happens. Because I don't know if y'all have played Persona 4, but, like, shit goes down in that game. Uh... So... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't mind it. Um, I mean, the thing is, I don't like having this big mic at all. Um, that's why I go for a collar clip mic, is because I don't want a big microphone in my face. Uh, so yeah, it's like totally a thing. I, uh, I buffered that jump just because I could, but it turns out I should have gotten a little extra... I should have gotten a little extra momentum before jumping. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't like having a big mic in my face, which is why, which is why I use a collar clip mic. Uh, but when I stream without a webcam, I use this mic because it sounds a lot better. And, uh, uh, but today I, I had this mic next to me because I was using it for Persona 5 yesterday. And I just thought, ah, what the fuck, I'm going to be playing Persona 5 soon, so I might as well just use this mic all day. Instead of, like, switching them or something like that. I can't play this anymore, I wanna play Persona 5. One of those Countryman mics? Are you talking about, like, the head-worn ones? Yeah. Yeah, it that would be super nice to have. I got one head-worn mic, but it was, like, $80, and it sucked. However, part of it is also my mixer. I need to get a better mixer. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm going to play Dragon Warrior one day. It's not like a I'm considering it thing. It's it's a one day at 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 a at a date that I cannot specify, I will play Dragon Warrior. Whether I play Dragon Warrior 4, however, is up to how much I like Dragon Warrior 1, 2, and 3. Unless I say that I don't like those ones, and then everybody is like, Oh my gosh, it's it's just like you say with Persona, where even if you don't like 1 and 2, you should still play 3. Okay, fine, then I'll play 4. Uh, 
Oh, you would suggest me not playing the American playthroughs? Okay, sure. If, uh, I, I, I didn't know that there was a big difference. I probably would have just played the American releases of the American releases. Kind of like what I'm doing with Final Fantasy, where, like, Final Fantasy 1, 4, and 6, I'm just playing the American releases of, you know, Final Fantasy 1, 2, and 3 for those. Um, but yeah, if there, if, if, if you say I should not do that for, uh, Dragon Warrior, then I won't. Um, Megami Tensei, though, never came out in the U.S., so that, that one's a little different, like, you, uh, you have to for that one. You're saying, oh yes, okay. I get what you're saying. You're 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 talking more about playing the Super Nintendo versions rather than the Nintendo versions. Hmm. You know, I it took me a while to decide about whether I should do it for Megami Tensei. I don't know. Whoops. I mean, I love the Super Nintendo. I would, if, if a game is out on both. I don't know, though. I mean, I am playing this game instead of Mario All-Stars. Because they're slightly different, and I like this one more. I like how this one feels more. I like how it looks more. However, I really like how, um... I really like how the All-Stars version of the song goes Like they, they put that little flourish on there. I love it. I love it. Whoop! Why? Why did I do that? Fine. Did I get all those coins? Let's find out. Bip. Yes, I did. Whoop. Yep. This thing is out. I better just throw it away before I keep reaching for it. What are you saying? No one's forcing who? What's what's happening? Ah, here's the deal. Uh, I want to play Dragon Quest because Camel insists that they're wonderful. Um, but I I lost my train of thought there. I want to play them for that reason. And I will take your advice on how to play them. You know, I don't know. 
mixed with my own judgment because I know what I like also. Oh, did you see me shoot that fireball? And it was just too early. Robbed. Man, maybe we'll just have to play some Magic the Gathering before I can play Persona. I think Nicole just probably expects... Uh, she's probably just not going- I, I I thought she was going to tell me when she was done playing it, you know? Maybe she's just not going to. And she's already done playing it, and has been, and is wondering where I am. That's probably what's happening. Or she fell asleep. That happens a lot, too. doing whoop that's interesting camel so um i've played i i didn't know that uh you played the 16-bit original i didn't even know there were 16-bit originals um because the so i played a tiny bit of dragon quest one when i was little and i didn't really know what i was doing maybe it was dragon quest two but I think it was one. Uh, and, I, and I had no idea what the game was, really. Um, and uh, and it was on the NES. Uh, I, I played the NES version. This is World 5. I keep not paying attention to whether I'm getting all the coins. Got him. Okay, I accidentally did my tech there. I always forget about it. Bopped him pretty well. Got it. Whoa! That was nuts looking. Okay. Oh, shit. You know, I, I really have no idea what Earthbound really is. got a clip of the slick clip? I'll check that out in a second. Oh, all right. All right, all right. Oh, no! I 
tried to jump, but once you're below a certain point, it seems you can't jump there. Like, you're on the platform, and you get so low, and it just won't let you jump out anymore. I just tried to be too quick. Oh, jeez. Jump. World 5, man. I can't handle it. The final stage? How, uh, well, actually, I don't want to know how many stages there are in that game, because I might play it. Uh, well, because I will play it, I should say. And I would rather not be spoiled of that information. Damn it. Alright, that's fine. But, okay, so when you say Earthbound is modern... Okay, so it's modern day. It's Pokemon-ish, right? Where you collect monsters and use them in your party? Man, I keep getting all the coins in the Dash 3 levels without even thinking about it. It's a good sign. Ugh! Okay. You don't collect monsters in Earthbound? Really? Man, there's so many visual glitches happening. I gotta... I gotta check out my cables. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. No, I, I don't think it's that I'm thinking of something else. I think it's just that I always assumed you collected monsters in Earthbound. It's like an assumption that I made a long, long time ago. But I never learned anything about Earthbound, so I didn't know. Have you ever played Magi Nation for Game Boy Color? I played a bit of that. I remember thinking it seemed pretty cool, but I didn't get very far in it. Because I didn't actually own it, I got it on a Game Boy emulator, and I find it impossible to appreciate a game that I don't physically own or, or, um, or have paid for. Like, when you get a game for free, it's you can't appreciate it. I can't, I don't, like, I don't know if I ever beat a game that I was emulating. Like, that, that's why the idea of emulation is so weird to me and stuff. Or the, the idea of people acting like you don't need to do anything else. People act like, oh, I don't need... You know, they, they don't need to pay for games because they get all their games for free because they're on PC. Fucking smug, punch me in the face face. And, uh, and I always think, like, first of all, that's shitty. But also, it's like, man, I bet this person doesn't appreciate any of the games that they play. Because they just get them for free. It happens, man. It's good for trying games you want to buy. I just have a weird approach to games, I guess, where, where it's like... I, um... I don't know. I, I don't think of, like, a trial period for games, you know? I don't, I don't want to, uh... I don't want to... Um... I don't, I, I don't want to start a new game with the idea that I'm only assessing it, you know? Uh, I, I, I want to... I want to get a game and then judge it partially based on what it took to get the game, you know?
Some people are poor. Um, that that uh, people not having enough money raises interesting questions. That that's a that's kind of a topic of its own because it's like, all right, so let's say, okay, so you're poor. Uh, what are you playing your games on then? You're playing your games on your computer? Because I imagine if you're if you're too poor to buy games, then I question how you got the system in the first place and why you can't afford games for a system. It's just a thing. I, I it's it's not that I'm saying that you're lying. Uh or that you know, nothing like that. I'm just saying I I want a little bit more information than just I don't have money for games because having the option to play games is it implies that you have s something, you know? Okay, so you're talking about like fringe case. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so emulating a game like Earthbound Sure. Sure. If it's really expensive. I mean, Ghost Rider did just mention that there is a $5 virtual console way to play it, but that requires you to have a Wii U. But I, I, I'm not talking about, like, fringe case games that are really expensive because they're super rare. I'm, I'm talking about your statement, which is that people are poor. If you're talking about being poor, and that's why you're, why, that's why you're downloading games, then we're not talking about games that are expensive. We're talking about games in general. I wouldn't call someone poor because they can't afford Chrono Trigger, you know? Uh, so the, the, the point that I'm making is that... If you have a PlayStation 4, you've got enough money for some games. Maybe one game every several months, perhaps. And if you have a certain taste in games, that's plenty. The most you've spent on a game was $97 for Final Fantasy VI. Oh, but you're you're Canadian, so that's that's remember. When Ghost Rider talks prices, you gotta remember that he's talking Canadian dollars. Not that I'm saying that that game is not expensive, I'm just saying that there's a difference. Um But uh yeah. I don't remember what I played paid for. Final Fantasy VI. It was probably comparable to that. I think it was like 60 bucks U US. I probably paid for it. Uh, I think I got Chrono Trigger for 80. It might have been 90, but I think it was 80. Whoops! Um, I, I know I spent over 100 on the Demon Souls Collector's Edition. But I mean, that's a PS3 game. I don't know if that's really part of the conversation. If we're if, whether we're talking about uh, whether we're talking about that. Chrono Trigger is more expensive now. I don't know if the price has changed very much since I I bought it. Oh shit! Right, clip. Everybody, watch Flex's clip. I'll post it again. There we go. It's a Darby in clip. Okay, it's a minute long. I'm just gonna play it on stream. That's why I have this extra window capture here. Now there's a clip here. I'll try the clip oh, here. Oh god. I've never done it in a run, but... I'm sorry it was loud. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
I don't even know. It's so weird having the screen in that position. I've never done that before. I don't know if you guys know Darby, <coughs> but this. <coughs> Go back run. further. This guy is the best Super Mario Brothers player in the world. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wonderful, wonderful. Okay. Oh yeah, I I I love his uh his wheezing laughter when uh. It's how I laugh when something is unexpectedly funny. I, I, I let all the air out of my lungs. I don't think it was quite as good as it was when they, when they spawned the ones. His reaction is very funny. Do you have the clip of him spawning the ones? I know I didn't react all that much at first, but it's pretty great. The cheapest copy is Lufia. Oh, or of Lufia, 75 bucks. I mean, that's a game where if you paid $75 for that, you wouldn't really be supporting the developer anymore anyway. But you would be supporting the used retro game market. Uh, but, I mean, I'm not... It's, it's, it, that's, that's a very different thing. Check it out. I'm not going to slow down. Mmm, yeah. I had to slow down there, though. And here. Lame. My my whole point is that I I just I feel like all right. My my thing about like piracy and and all that is just that I feel like some people have a shitty attitude where they feel like they are entitled to games for free because they have a PC or because they say they can't afford the games. But there are cheap as hell games on Steam that are great. And uh, I just feel as if if you have a computer that's able to play such games that are like brand new $60 games on PC and your PC can play it, then maybe it's less that you don't have money and it's more that you don't know how to use that money is a, a lot of the time the case and the only reason that I'm kind of harsh about it is just because some people have shitty attitudes about it. But yeah, I mean, if there's a retro game that's $500, emulate it. <laughs> if the game is $500, then the retro game market is pretty healthy, you know? If it's able to support something like that. Don't jump all the way down, okay. The shitty attitude with piracy and stuff is, it, it's its kind of the same as adblock. Um, oh shit. Like, a lot of the, sometimes it's whatever, but some people just have a really shitty attitude about adblock. You know, like, uh, specifically, like, if you're talking about ads and somebody's way of saying that somebody says, you know, what ads, Kappa Face, because they fucking have ad block or something and they think that they're better than you because they have it, like, they're smarter than you for getting around the system. 
Like, Camel, I realize that... Right, like, that's what I'm talking about. Like, you have an actual reason. You're not just shitty about it, you know? You, like, have... You, you have a, a reason that ads, like, personally upset you. And I get that. There are just people who... They, they act like they, they're smarter than you, and that they've... They've, like, outsmarted the whole system by using Adblock, and it's like, no, fuck off, you make it worse for everybody else. Not that I agree with your Adblock usage, Camel, I'm just saying you're not shitty about it. Uh, oh. Well, I just skipped past that. What I think about the thing where your ISP can sell your data? Uh, I live in Minnesota, and I... Look, I don't follow these things super closely. Hang on. Am I upset by that the Hammer Bros trivialized? No, I love it. I love it because it's fun to do, you know? Um... But, uh... I, I heard something about how Minnesota, like, passed a specific law that they're not able to do it here? Is that a thing? Oh, we gotta see the ones. We're gonna, wa we're gonna watch more Darby and... <laughs> we spawned the other one. <laughs> you get the ones. We he just them. he reacts immediately oh, to it. It's, gonna it's be like he's waiting for it. Oh, you know we're going for it. <laughs> we spawned the other one. <laughs> you get the ones. I love it. Alright, yeah, see you later, Ghost Rider. Alright, what am I doing here? Playing this. Alright, I'm gonna go ask Nicole about about Persona. Oh shit, I got- I got 40? There's 40 left? Oh no, that bump might have done me in. Yes! Yes! Alright. 
so yeah, Nicole, um, she just forgot that I wanted to play Persona. So she's just still playing it. So we're just gonna play Mario until she's done playing it. Which is gonna be soon. But I might even take the stream down briefly so that I can go to the store with her to buy a physical copy. Because we're just going to buy a second copy so she can just keep playing it. The thing with ISP selling you your data is a lot different than ads on the internet because you're paying for the internet connection. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, is that in response? Oh, thank you. Do you want me to come to the store with you to buy it? Are you going to buy it digitally? Do you uh, need me to go to the store and buy it for you? Okay. Alright. Just making sure. Bye bye. Okay. Wonderful. It's Persona time. Um, yeah, what ISPs want to do, it sounds just like the, it sounds a lot like cable. Uh, alright. What are we doing here? We're turning this off. 